and sit down and relax because this is a very relaxing experience. We're doing hypnosis for dentistry and we have a patient called Matthew here, Alden. He's never been hypnotized before. We're going to do some, uh, what's called a rapid induction. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen hypnosis before. So uh, this is a live demo to have hypnoanalgesia. He'll be having a filling done without any anaesthetic. Are all patients hypnotizable or are there some that are not? Personally, I've never had a problem hypnotizing anybody. Are you ready? Yeah. Good, 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 good. I work with people with special needs, Alzheimer's, um, you name it, I've worked with them. Do they want to go through the process of being hypnotized is a different question. Let's go deeper still. Relax and go deeper still. Relax and go deeper still. If any of you can see uh, Matthew's eyes, he's got what's called the rapid eye flicker, which is a very good sign that he's in a, uh, already choosing to go into a very good state of relaxation and a hot hypnotic relaxation. You can see the whites of the eyes, which is very, very normal. So he's an uh, excellent subject for hypnosis. How long time would it take to acquire the knowledge to hypnotize patients? To learn how to hypnotize? We teach people in a day to be able to hypnotize and understand. In two days, they can be able to do an extraction, um, uh, no anesthetic, that kind of stuff. Good, Anna's looking after you, making sure you're doing well. I'm looking after him. And too. Richard's doing a wonderful job. Open just a little minute. That's it, relaxing. Good. So I just want to ask for a first time patient undergoing this hypnosis, if they've got a uh, coming in for a fill-in or anything, how much longer do you need to add on to the treatment time to get them in a hypnotic state? It's patient dependent. Um, children are incredibly fast and they're so compliant. Good, well done. I mean, I'm always somebody that's, when I've been to the dentist, I know I'm gonna get anesthesia through a needle and I'm petrified of needles. So, you know, from today, that's it. I don't care what I have done, there will be no more needles. It's hypnotherapy all the way for me, not just in the dental chair, but all of my friends who are pregnant, I'll be encouraging them to get hypnotherapy when they have the babies because I don't see the point in having the anaesthetic now if I don't have to. When you're doing the hypnosis, are you still able to sort of ask for, you know, bits of equipment and talk dentistry to your nurse and stuff? Absolutely. Or does that get in the way of Not putting at all. the patient in, in a In fact, trance? you use it. The suggestions are so easy. It, the thing is, the one thing I want to get across is you do this all the time. You talk to your patients. You are you asking them, you know, relax your body, feel relaxed, feel comfortable with yourself. And then, and now I'm just going to speak to the nurse, blah, 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 pass me this, pass me that, pass me the other, and now relax again. Good, that's right. Simple. We've just done quite a deep filling. I know it didn't take me terribly long, but it was actually quite deep. And he's fine. He wasn't even wincing. Um, he I'm gonna felt take nothing. Him out. I'm going to take him out of it. Yeah, just, you can ask him whatever you like. Could the patient tell everybody how he feels at the moment? Yeah, please do. Absolutely fine. The mouth is completely back to normal. Fine. Were you aware of the numbness? Uh, at times. And I was aware of you doing stuff, but it was just something that was happening. I was, wasn't really paying attention to it. It's pretty good going, I would say, for a high anxiety patient. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really aware, just relaxed and got on with it. Mm -hmm.